Hello all. Uh, welcome to Power Mission Baptist Church Timothy Group Worship Service, June 22nd, 2020. Our church has been fine with on site worship service uh, for the past two weeks. I joined the worship service last Sunday and we kept the social distancing. We wore masks during worship. We said it to one another without hand shaking. Sometimes I cannot believe how these things have happened as we face now today. But I believe God is working in our human history for His own good purposes. We should pray God's will be done on earth and we should also pray our family and you uh, will be always persevere in trials and difficulties while giving thanks to God. Uh, we are still continuing our series of Mark. Uh, today's passage is Mark chapter 1 uh, verses 40 to 45. Today's passage is Mark chapter 1 verses 40 to 45. Mark chapter 1 verses 40 to 45. A man with leprosy came to him and begged him on his knees. If you are willing, you can make me clean. Jesus was indignant. He reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, he said, to be clean. Immediately, the leprosy left him and he was cleansed. Jesus sent him away at once with a strong warning. See that you don't tell this to anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest and offer the sacrifices that Moses commanded for your cleansing as a testimony to them. Instead, he went out and began to talk freely, spreading the news. As a result, Jesus could no longer enter a town openly, but stayed outside in lonely places. Yet the people still came to him from everywhere. A man came to Jesus one day. He had a severe chronic skin disease. Such a severe chronic skin disease is nowadays called leprosy. Leprosy in the modern world speaks about a contagious and chronic skin disease infected by leprous bacteria. The leprous bacteria damage the nervous system of the infected person. The infected person loses the skin senses to feel the pain against wounds or hurt. As a result, the infected person may suffer the loss of wounded bodily parts such as hands or legs if he leaves them unattended. The infected person also suffers severe sores on skin, muscle weakness, and poor eyesight. Leprosy is also named Hansen's disease because the leprous bacteria was discovered by the Nor Norwegian, Norwegian medical doctor Hansen in 1979. From now on, I will call the disease Hansen's disease instead of leprosy. Thanks to the medical development, Hansen's disease is curable with early diagnosis and treatment in modern days. However, in Jesus' day, 
uh, Hansen's disease was incurable by the medical treatment. It was contagious through a physical contact between a leper, uh, that is a person infected with Hansen's disease, and a normal person. Lepers were separated uh, from the Jewish community. They lived in their own community outside the city walls. Hansen's disease stigmatized the lepers ceremonially unclean according to the purity law in Leviticus. They were responsible for warning the people approaching them about their uncleanness and contagious skin disease. They kept the people from coming near them as they shouted, unclean, unclean. The people recognized that the screamer was a leper when they saw his uncovered head infected with leprous skin sours. Anyone with such a defiling digit must wear torn clothes, let their hair be unkempt, cover the lower part of their face and cry out, unclean, unclean. As long as they have the disease, they remain unclean. They must live alone. They must live outside the camp. Leviticus chapter 13, verses 45 to 46. The leper came to Jesus for the healing. The healing would take away his uncleanness. This man desired cleanness to make him brought back uh, to make him brought back into the community. For the cleansing to happen, he was to be healed of a Hansen's disease, which was believed to be cured by no human beings but God alone. This man might have believed Jesus had God's power to cure him, or this man might have believed Jesus was a miracle worker, having supernatural power to heal him. Either way, he had faith in Jesus. His faith was that Jesus was able to restore him cleanness by healing him. He was convinced Jesus was able to heal him and cleanse him. Yet he did not have conviction whether Jesus was willing to heal him and make him clean again. He perhaps thought Jesus would deny his asking of healing and cleansing. He respected Jesus' authority to perform healing or reject it. A man with leprosy came to him and begged him on his knees, If you are willing, you can make me clean. Mark chapter 1 verse 40 Mark does not describe the effect of a Hansen's disease upon this man. One thing probable is that this man had miserable conditions upon multiple parts of his body. Because he was infected with Hansen's disease, he could have lost his eyebrows and lots of hairs on his head. His nose could have been deformed. Some of his bodily parts could have been missing, such as fingers or toes. Many parts of his sick skin could have remained scarred or blistered with sours. How would you feel 
If you happen to see such a leper with devastating conditions, maybe the first reaction would be repulsive at him. We would want to avoid coming near him. Maybe some of us would have a deep compassion for such a poor man. Jesus did not react with repulsion against him when he saw the man. He became very angry. He was not angry with the man, but he was very angry with Hansen's disease that was ruining him. He was furious. The man was losing what made him look like a human being because of Hansen's disease. Jesus had a righteous anger against the disease and its deadly effect upon this man. Nevertheless, Jesus showed compassion for the weakened man. He was willing to renew the man through his healing. This time, he not only spoke the words of healing to the man, but he also touched the man with his hand stretched out. According to the law, Jesus now became ceremonially unclean by touching the leper who was ceremonially unclean. Jesus now exposed himself to Hansen's disease, the contagious chronic skin disease, by touching the leper. But unlike our expectation, God's miraculous healing right away came upon this man through Jesus' personal and intimate touch. By Jesus' touch, the man was set free from Hansen's disease. The healing was immediate and perfect. The man was fully restored from Hansen's disease right after Jesus touched him. His deformed nose became set in place again. His lost eyebrows grew dense. His disfigured fingers, toes, or any of his disfigured bodily parts became fully recovered. The scars, blisters, and sores on his skin were completely gone and cured. The man recovered his full strength and he also recovered his eyesight. Above all, he noticed his skin senses back. His body was completely renewed in an instant moment by Jesus' healing. Jesus was indignant. He reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, he said. Be clean. Immediately, the leprosy left him and he was cleansed. Mark chapter 1, verses 41 to 42. Jesus sent the renewed man right away with a strong warning. He warned him to keep silent about the healing of Hansen's disease Jesus did for him. Instead, Jesus commanded him to get the official proof he was ceremonially clean since he was healed of Hansen's disease. It was to go to the priest who would declare the man ceremonially clean after examining his skins. Then the man was to offer the sacrifices 
regulated in the law as the testimony of his cleansing. Then the priest is to sacrifice the sin offering and make atonement for the one to be cleansed from their uncleanness. After that, the priest shall slaughter the burnt offering and offer it on the altar, together with the grain offering, and make atonement for them, and they will be clean. Leviticus chapter 14, verses 19 to 20. She just sent him away at once uh, with a strong warning. See that you don't tell this to anyone, but go show yourself to the priest and offer the sacrifices that Moses commanded for your cleansing as a testimony to them. Mark chapter 1 verses 43 to 44. The man obeyed Jesus' warning in part. He probably kept Jesus' command to go to priest and offer the sacrifices. He was able to go back to his family and community since he was declared clean and he was no longer a leper. However, he was disobedient to Jesus' command to remain silent. He became a passionate witness, spreading far and wide how Jesus healed him of Hansen's disease. His action was understandable because he was healed of Hansen's disease and incurable disease at the time. It was a very rare healing in the Bible. It was the third time God healed of Hansen's disease throughout the Bible. For the first time, God healed Miriam, Moses' older sister. The second healing was when he healed Naaman, the commander of the army of Aram, by the healing of Hansen's arm. The healing that happened to the man by Jesus in the passage today was the third one. By the healing of Hansen's Jesus, Jesus showed God was present among Jews. Jesus was God among them, the divine healer of Hansen's disease. The news brought the immediate effect. Jesus was no longer able to enter a village openly since Jews pressed in from all directions wherever Jesus went in the town. Consequently, he was forced to stay in lonely places far outside the, the, city, the towns. Still, Jews continued coming to him from all the directions. Instead, he went out and began to talk freely, spreading the news. As a result, Jesus could no longer enter a town openly, but stayed outside in lonely places, yet the people still came to him from everywhere. Mark chapter 1 Verses 45. Jesus healed the man of Hansen's disease. The man was fully renewed in his whole body in a quick moment. It was the healing God alone could do. The man became ceremonially clean. He went back to his family and community. We cannot heal the incurable disease which God is able to heal, but we can be friends to those people sick with chronic incurable disease. We can help them believe in Jesus Christ, the healer of sin, an ultimate cause of sicknesses. I pray that you will be as compassionate as Jesus 
for people sick with a severe chronic disease. I also pray you will be always friendly and helpful for them so that you could share the gospel with them. Heavenly Father, the man with the hands disease was separated from human community. He suffered the skin chronic disease upon multiple parts of his body. Somehow he lost some of his valuable bodily parts. He was in pain. Probably he did not feel pain at all, but he still saw his body torn apart and cut off because of Hans's disease. But you healed the man and you showed that you are God who is able to heal the incurable disease at the time. We believe you can heal all the diseases in this world. Even if we cannot heal those diseases, but we want to follow your example that you showed compassion to them, you approached him, and you also touched him. That showed your personal and intimate relation between you and the person. That our children always have a pity and great compassion toward such people sick with chronic, a chronic and severe diseases. Let them follow your example whenever the chances comes to them in their own lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debt as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I hope all of you still stay safe uh, at your home. And above all, I want all of you to always pay attention to your parents and obey what they are saying to you and follow every instruction they give to you. Uh, please Pray continually for your family and for this nation and for every, every need you and your family has and God will fill you whatever He sees that your needs are necessary. Um, I hope we can see soon each other until that moment. We still pray for each one another and then we still think of each other okay. bye